What is up guys? Today I'm filming a behind the scenes of my Etsy shop. What the hell is going on? It's happening again. It's literally happening again. But anyways, yeah, this is like gonna be a day in the life type vlog. This is my third time filming this. I'm not gonna try to jinx anything, but it was just very traumatic experience for me for the last few days trying to film this. So the bottom line is that SD card is dead to me. I'm getting a refund, so yeah, I'm kind of zoning out. So new, like this video, comment. My glasses are so dirty. I just can't. Like, I literally just can't. This video, comment. If you have any video requests, comment them down below. If you would like to check out my Etsy shop, link down below. Follow me on Instagram at Kimana Sawyers. It's a lot of things going on on there now. So, yeah, follow it. Like my pictures. Comment on there because I like reading your guys' comments. Enter on your post vacations. So the last two remaining four ounce ones, four ounce bottles. And then these are the one ounce bottles that I do need to get rid of because they're just sitting here. And I, yes, I'm getting more four ounce bottles, but I also want to get rid of these too. So what I'm going to do is if someone purchases this, I give them four. So yeah, to make four ounces. Um, but also like sharing my Etsy shop helps too people have been favoriting my etsy shop and putting it like putting my oil in their cart yeah these are the two that need to be shipped out and then these are the let me just show you a little example here of what oh that's a really bad angle I, just, I don't even know what it looked like but i just knew it was bad so this is an idea of what it would look like but um yeah, so eventually I'm going to, you know, branch out and try different things with the oils because, like, I don't use just castor oil on it. I use, like, other oils to help not only aid in hair growth but also moisturize your hair. So you can use it basically all over your hair if you want to. So that's why it's just, like, a lot of, like, hair companies put, like, just castor oil in it and call it a day but with me like i did a lot of research before i even did this concoction so so yeah just purchase yours today it'll help me out a lot and make me happy and i just love making it and i'm eventually gonna make more um like make more things eventually it's just i'm trying to get the hang of just selling oils right now seeing how that goes but um yeah i was just thinking like a lot of people suffer from dry hair and dry scalp issues and i was like thinking like you know i've made so many hair oil infusions for the last probably like a year or two and um this one is probably by far the best concoction i've ever made one of the best con concoctions i've ever made so yeah i'm really hot right now but my mom made me some um rose water today it looks really nice it's like you know how like I was gonna buy myself some rose water and she was too right and like when you look at those prices though if you look at those prices it's just like I had some like birthday money and I was gonna buy it with that and I was like mm, I was gonna buy some more rose water because I was running out because I had the same rose water for two years it's really unsanitary but I was just trying to get I was trying to make it last it was still working like my skin didn't break out from it and I think it's because it had like so many weird additives to it but it was from last Christmas from 2018 I've even showed it in that video so <sighs> that's pretty gross but honestly like it's just rose water like it didn't smell weird but it smelled perfumey you know what I mean like a lot of rose waters have like perfume in it and all of these weird additives I'm just really not here for it. Like, you don't need to add a fragrance to it when it already smells good. All you gotta do is just soak some, like, you know, eucalyptus or something, some herbs, and it will smell good. You don't have to add the extra stuff to it. You don't even need to add oils to it because that stuff, like, literally clogs your pores. So that's why I never really bought into that Myro Badescu stuff because it is so expensive. Like, it's $7 for chemicals. I hope this is thorough. I try to be thorough as possible. I was just really irritated because my files kept getting corrupted every time I filmed this video and it's a plane flying by. There's always planes flying by my house so and the windows open so like 
sound like i don't even know where that sound is coming from but yeah so um nothing crazy but it's just it was honestly the most stressful thing in my life did that even do anything but i look shiny because um shea butter so that's why i look very 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 shiny right now but my mom bought these like cute containers for me to put my supplies in. I'm going to show you one because if I show you the other one then you're going to know what's in it and I don't want my recipe to be out there. Look at my poster. I've had it for like two weeks now and it looks so nice. Um, It's from Etsy. It's a Brockhampton thing. It's from the Ginger album and it has all the little um, names of the songs in it and it looks really freaking nice. Might have to paint it myself. So, um, there's some tape in here because I have to obviously use tape and then there's scrunchies and then my thank you cards and the little bags I use to put in it but yeah it comes with a lot it came with like a set of like 70 or something the one has my ideas book which I don't even know if it looks good in it but I'm just trying to keep everything together and not so like uh but the candy bag is in the shelf but eventually I want a shelf for all of this stuff because I just know it's gonna get bigger and bigger and bigger once I feel a lot more comfortable selling things but what's been helping me is watching entrepreneur vlogs um so it helps not only and it not only inspires you but it also helps you establish yourself more like some people just sound so monotone and it's just like it's not fun and it's not like lively you know it's not like it's just everyone seems so serious when they do those vlogs like I've watched a few and everyone just is like okay and this is how I do it this is how I print out my labels and this is how I ship it out like there's a lot of orders I have to ship out it's just so boring to me like I get bored from people really fast I just sound like that and it's just like wow you're making it sound so exciting I'll show you an example of how the bags would be one ordered right now and i was like oh shoot not like that but um i just tipped over the tripod it's nothing huge i'm just trying to demonstrate waterproof apparently so um people apparently can fit like their chargers in here matches this a little bit let's fill it up but this is how the baggie would look when you purchase the oils obviously and this is like already done so what I would do was just tape it around make sure it's tight which it is and then tape around this which I should probably do because I just have this feeling someone's gonna buy it like my senses are tingling <laughs> I just made the oils and now I'm gonna make some oatmeal because I realized that I haven't really eaten anything like real today. So I'm gonna cut up this apple because like I've seen people put apple chunks in their oatmeal and I wanna try it.
the next day i haven't showered yet obviously but at midnight i got an order from somebody that i actually know so um i'm gonna be preparing that order but instead of her buying the original four ounce she bought the one ounce so this will be her little bag that i made yesterday so if you have your notifications on oh that looks bad if you have your notifications on they give you a little ding on etsy like if you're a seller so like there's like a dinging sound or like a cha-ching sound and a ding sound or something but when someone favorites your shop there's a different sound i just don't remember what it was my voice gets so raspy in the morning so i apologize for that yeah she said yes it does i know but yeah. okay here's one so she's actually the first person to purchase from the one ounce section okay that's not finished i'm gonna have to like really see if these are actually like because not all of them are filled up so like some of them are so let me see if all these fit in this let me see i don't think they will i think two and two yeah i like about two so i mean i was kind of figure stop arguing it's too early stop tape i'm supposed to put on this thing since it's so tiny and it just i don't know i overly tape things that's what i realized because honestly okay i've been taking melatonin lately and honestly i don't know if it's working but i've been getting like decent sleep whenever i do get to sleep it's decent it keeps coming on even when it's like 90 degrees out and i'm confused because i don't know i don't think my mom and i are the only ones that know how to work alexa but mysteriously the freaking heater keeps coming on my mom said that she did it like once the other day but like it's coming on by itself is a thing and i'm just like it's not that time of year yet like just wait a minute just wait a minute like it's not that time but it's annoying because I feel like I'm having hot flashes. I don't even know what that's like because I haven't gone through menopause. Later now, my bed's a mess. I'm probably not. I should probably get to that. Watching girlfriends for the last like hour. I don't really think I was barely paying attention to it. I think I'm just using it as background sound because like I do that sometimes. But and I've been really bad at drinking water like i just realized that like it's already like 3 40 and i didn't really drink that much water i don't even know no but it feels kind of chilly right now so i decided to wear my ginger sweater for a third time in a row but i've ha i haven't had it for very long and it's ginger from if you don't know it's from Brockhampton. it's like the album name that came out last year around my birthday it was pretty great days later like two days later so i'm editing this video and i realized that i didn't film an outro for this video so i'm going to end it right here if you enjoyed please leave a like comment your thoughts on this video if you would like more of this type of content let me know because i would love to if you have any video requests comment them down below also don't forget to check out my etsy shop at diy hair organics it was supposed to be DIY it's technically DIY hair and skin organics but the username was too long so I did hair organics which sucks because really I been thinking about this name for like at least since senior year of high school and um, I don't know what made me think of it like the name like I just remember putting it in my notes and putting it in my senior portfolio and talking about it in a presentation about this name in high school and um yeah like i remember i didn't even have a formal presentation for it like i didn't have a slideshow so i was just really speaking from the heart really f the whole time and it was honestly like uh, nerve-wracking but honestly it was probably the most riskiest things i've ever done in my life because normally i'm more prepared but I just remember distinctly writing that name in my notes, talking about what I wanted to do in for that business, 
and people asking me questions about it and it was actually pretty cool so purchase your oils today because why not they're great i've been using mine for pretty much every single day and i'm already almost done with it um actually no i'm almost half halfway done with it like you can't see it because it's a really dark bottle but honestly i'm getting clear bottles like i think they're coming in tomorrow i will see you in my next video bye guys